church. Praise Him in the morning. Praise Him all day long. I feel like praise Him. Praise Him again. Come on, I praise Him. You don't want to go. Don't bend the knee. Yes, Lord. If you don't want to go, don't bend the knee. Praise Him in the morning. Praise Him all day long. I feel like praise Him. Praise Him. Do you feel like praising God? Do you feel like praising Him? Do you feel like worshiping Him? Do you feel like magnifying Him? Do you feel like lifting Him up? Lift Him up. Praise Him. Come on, let's praise Him. Come on, give Him glory. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Come on. Praise Him. Praise Him in the morning. Praise Him in the new day. Praise Him all night long. Come on. Praise Him. Thank you, Jesus. So just like that song said, you know, I feel like, you know, praise Him, praise Him. That song was a song by Shirley Caesar. But before we get into the message, I'm going to say a little prayer. I'm going to ask every viewer. The bow their heads, close their eyes, stretch your hands out, and receive this prayer. Lord, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I come in the power of your Holy Ghost, in the power of your might. Lord, I welcome your Holy Spirit, your Holy Presence, your anointing, your power into this atmosphere in Jesus' name. I welcome your Holy Spirit, your anointing, your power, your devil rebuking power in, in the preaching, Heavenly Father. Be my mouthpiece, Heavenly Father. Order my footsteps, Lord. Order my words. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So what I'm going to teach on, teach on is, uh, be not unequally yoked. Be not unequally yoked. So let's go to uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Hallelujah. Verse 14, and it says, And be not unequally yoked together with the unbelievers. Hallelujah. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion has light with darkness? And what concord has Christ with Baal? Or what part has he believed with an infidel? So in other words right here, if we are a believer... We're not, supposed, we're not supposed to be, you know, equally yoked together with an unbeliever. The Bible is clear. Be not unequally yoked together with an unbeliever. The Bible is clear. You know, once you become a Christ, you become a what? You become a new creature. The Bible is also clear. And the Bible says, you know, you are known by the fruits that you bear. And... The company that you keep. We as Christians, hallelujah, we ain't supposed to have no company with a fornicator. We're not supposed to have no company with somebody that's committing adultery. And what I'm talking about there is if somebody's in an open sin that's against God, we should act like it's okay because the truth of the matter is not okay. It is not pleasing and it's not acceptable unto the Lord because the Lord says, he don't dwell with no unclean temple. And so, therefore, if he don't dwell with no unclean temple, and we got Jesus in us, we shouldn't dwell with no unclean temple because they got what? They're full of unrighteousness. They're full of wickedness. They're full of envy. They're full of evil. They're full of hate. And God wants us to hang around like-minded people. God wants us to hang around Christ-minded people. God wants us to hang around spiritually-minded people. God wants us to hang around people that are, what, in the word. God wants us to hang around people that are in the truth. God wants us to hang around people that are walking in the light and not darkness. God wants us to hang around true saints and true believers of God. God wants us to hang around worshipers that are God. The Bible is clear. Be not unequally yoked together 
with the unbelievers? What fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? What communion has light with darkness? The Bible said that he brought us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Hallelujah. When you're in darkness, you cannot see. When you're in darkness, you cannot see things clear. But when you're, you're in the light, you're in the light of the Lord. The Bible says that the Lord is a lamp unto our feet. Hallelujah. And a light unto our path. Hallelujah. So we as Christians, hallelujah, and we come into God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, hallelujah, to walk in the light. Hallelujah. As he's in the light. Hallelujah. God said that we are the salt of the earth. Hallelujah. And if the salt lost his Savior, what good is the salt? The salt is good for nothing. Huh? To be trampled under the foot of man. Huh? What concord has Christ with Baal? Huh? Or what, have, what part has he that believe with an infidel? Huh? The Bible is clear that we should believe only in the truth, the way, and the life. Huh? And that's the life of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We shouldn't get ourselves connected. Hallelujah. If we're walking in the light, huh? that somebody's in darkness. Hallelujah. That somebody want to continue to have. Uh, uh, a relationship with somebody in darkness. Uh, if we're in the light, hallelujah, we need to have a relationship, hallelujah, with somebody that's in the light, hallelujah. We need to walk, hallelujah, walk in righteousness, hallelujah. We need to act in righteousness, hallelujah. We need to be in righteousness, hallelujah. We need to think in righteousness, hallelujah. We need to pray in righteousness, hallelujah. The Bible is clear. We as Christians, hallelujah, the Bible says, put on the armor of God, that we stand against the wiles of the devil. The Bible is clear. Put on the helmet of salvation, hallelujah, that we may keep our thoughts from the thoughts of Satan. We need to equip ourselves with the sword of the Spirit and use the sword, hallelujah, as a weaponry against the enemy, as a weaponry to defeat the adversary, as a weaponry to knock down our enemies, as a weaponry so we can stay uh, in the truth, hallelujah. The Bible is clear huh, that we need to put on the breastplate of righteousness. Huh? And why do we put on that breastplate? Huh? We put on that breastplate huh, to keep our hearts huh, right with Jesus Christ. Huh? We put on that breastplate huh, to keep our heart right. Huh? We put on that blessed, pray, blessed breastplate huh, as a guard to keep us protected from the enemy's attacks. Hallelujah. The Bible is clear. The Bible says, uh, put on the shoes of peace. Uh, the Lord is clear uh, that we should follow peace uh, with all men. Uh, and holiness without no man uh, shall see the Lord. Uh, oh, uh, we call on Jesus uh, and say, Jesus, uh, I don't want to be unequally yoked uh, with the unbelievers. Uh, Jesus, uh, I don't want to have fellowship uh, with unrighteous and unrighteousness. Uh, Jesus, I don't want to have concord with Baal, but I want to have concord with Christ. Jesus, I don't want to hang around fornicator. I want to hang around somebody's in the word. Jesus, I don't want to hang around somebody that's doing open sin, but I want to hang around somebody that's walking in righteousness. I want to hang around somebody that's walking in the light. I want to hang around somebody that got the mind of Christ. I want to hang somebody that's studying in the truth. I want to hang around somebody that loves the Lord. I want to hang around somebody that like to step on the devil's head. I want to hang around somebody that got power over all the power of the enemy. The Bible is clear. What fellowship does a Christian have with an unbeliever? They can't get along because they'll see things the wrong way, but we'll see things God's way. They'll think things the devil's way, but we'll think things God's way. They'll walk in darkness, and we'll walk in the light. We'll walk in righteousness, and they'll walk Talk in wickedness, we'll talk in righteousness, they'll talk in wickedness, we'll act in obedience, and they'll act in disobedience. The Bible is clear. If you want to receive the blessings, you got to be obedient and walk in the light. You got to be obedient and act in the light. You got to be obedient 
and show yourself approved unto God. You got to demonstrate the righteousness of God. You got to demonstrate the, uh, the holiness of God. You got to demonstrate the truthfulness of God. You got to demonstrate the attitude of God. You got to demonstrate the mentality of God. The Bible is clear that we need to separate ourselves and be ye separate that he may receive us unto himself. The Bible is clear that we need to be clean from all unrighteousness, but be buried from unrighteousness into righteousness, to be buried from sin into righteousness, to come out of darkness into his marvelous light, to walk in his light as he's in the light. If we call on Jesus and say, Jesus, according to your word, your lamp is a uh, your your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. You let me know that if we walk, Lord, that if we walk in your truth, Heavenly Father, that you'll lead us to everlasting life. But the Bible says that all sin is as displeasing in the sight of Lord. The Bible says sin can cause you to miss out on God's blessings, but God's righteousness can give you the favor of God. God's righteousness can give you the blessing of God. God's righteousness can give you that heavenly rain. God's righteousness can cause these blessings to come upon you, to cause these blessings to overtake you, to cause favor to overtake you, to cause protection to overtake you, to cause way making to overtake you, to cause a ram in the bush to be there when you have a need, to cause a ram in the bush, to be there when you desire something, to cause a ram in the bush, when you look to the hills, for which come of your help, your help comes from the Lord, the Bible says, if we need help, we need to call on him, the Bible says, if we need anything, we can ask it in his name, and that he would do it, that the Father may be glorified, in the sun if we want to come out of darkness into his marvelous light we got to call on the name of Jesus the Bible says there's no other name under heaven whereby men must be saved but by the name of Jesus there's no other name under heaven that can be delivered by but by the name of Jesus, there's no other name under heaven where you can be delivered by. But by the name of Jesus, there's no other name under heaven where you can get your mind right by. But by the name of Jesus, there's no other name that there's healing in. But the name of Jesus, there's no other name you can obtain salvation by. But by the name of Jesus, there's no other name under heaven you can get the Holy Ghost by. But by the name of Jesus, the Bible says, after we receive the Holy Ghost, we have power, power of all the power our enemy and nothing by any means shall harm us. The Bible says after you receive the Holy Ghost, you can tread upon the serpents, you can tread upon the scorpions, you can tread upon all the power of the enemy. But we gotta walk in the light as he's in the light. You gotta come out of darkness into the light. You gotta come out of unrighteousness into righteousness. You gotta come out of unrighteous mind to the mind of Christ. The Bible is clear. He said, let this mind be in you. That's in Christ Jesus. Let this attitude. And that's in you. Be in Christ Jesus. Let this talk that's in you. Be in Christ Jesus. Let this attitude that's in you. Be in Christ Jesus. Let this power be in you. That's in Christ Jesus. Let your shout be in you. And that's in Christ Jesus. Let the preaching that's in you. Be in Christ Jesus. Let your attitude be 
be in Christ Jesus. If we need anything, we can call on Jesus. If we need we need help, we can call on Jesus. If you need healing, you can call on Jesus. The Bible says that by his stripes we are healed. The Bible says there's healing power in his wing. The Bible says God, with God, nothing's impossible. The Bible says if you believe in him, if you trust in him, if you have confidence in him, if you have assured in him, you to do all things if you don't doubt Jesus will bring you out when you're going through a situation you can call on Jesus the Bible says you can speak to the mountain and the mountain be cast in the depths of the sea you can speak to your situation and it be cast in the depths of the sea you can speak to your sickness and it be cast in the depths of the sea you can speak to your unrighteousness and it be cast in the depths of the sea but you gotta do it in the name of Jesus for there's no other name that has power over Satan but by the name of Jesus there's no other name that you have victory by but by the name of Jesus there's no other name that you have devil rebuking power by but by the name of Jesus there's no other name under heaven or earth where you can defeat the devil by where you have victory by where you have power by, where you have the right mind by, where you have the right attitude by, but by the name of Jesus, if you need him in the morning, you need to call on Jesus, if you need him in the middle of the day, you need to call on Jesus, if you need him at night time, you need to call on Jesus, if you need him in the midnight hour, you need to call on Jesus, if you want to step out of unrighteousness, you need to call on Jesus. Jesus. If you want to be free from sin, you need to call on Jesus. If you want to obtain salvation, you need to call on Jesus. If you want Holy Ghost power, you need to call on Jesus. If you need help from the Lord, you need to call on Jesus. If you need understanding in His Word, you need to call on Jesus. If you need wisdom in His Word, you need to call on Jesus. If you need insight in His Word, you need to call on Jesus if you want to recognize who he is you need to call on Jesus if you want to believe the reality of God you need to call on Jesus if you believe in the death resurrection of Christ you need to call on Jesus say Jesus I want to come out of darkness Jesus I want to separate myself from you of the devil Jesus I don't want to be waking no more. I want to be righteousness. I don't want to be in darkness. I want to be in the light. I don't want an unrighteous mind. I want the mind of Christ. But we got to call on the name of Jesus. When it seems like you're sick and can't get well, you need to call on Jesus. God the same today and forever. He's unchanging. What he done for others, he can do for you. But you got to call on his name. You got to praise his name. You got to lift up your name. The name of Jesus. The Bible is clear. When praises go up, the blessings come down. Jesus said, he said, if he be lifted up, he'll draw all men unto him. So we need to lift the Lord up. Lift him up. Lift him up. The Bible says, God is a spirit and those that worship him must worship him in the spirit and in truth. Are you ready today to worship God in the spirit and the truth? Are you ready today to lift up holy hands? Are you ready today to stop out the devil? Are you ready today to turn from your unrighteousness? Are you ready today to turn from your sins? Are you ready today to turn from your evil ways? Are you ready today to walk in the line? Are you ready today to lift up your hands and say, Jesus, I'm ready to get you in my heart. I'm ready to put you in my attitude. I'm ready. 
to put you in my prayer life. I'm ready to read your word, to study your word, to understand your word, to get wisdom in your word, to get insight in your word, to walk in your spirit and not in the flesh. The Bible says if you're in the flesh, you cannot please God. So we need to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. The Bible says, Paul says, I crucify my flesh daily that I may walk, walk in the spirit, that I may walk, walk in the light, that I may have an attitude in the light, that my mind be in the light, that my actions be in the light, that my prayers be in the light, that my study be in the light. We got to separate yourself from among them, be separate, that I may receive you unto myself. Tell the devil, say, devil, get behind me. In the name of Jesus, you have no power here. In the name of Jesus, you have no authority here. In the name of Jesus, but I got victory. I got joy. I got peace. I got overpower. The Bible says the morning conquers through him that love him. The Bible says you can have the whole world against you, but if you have them for you, who can stop you? Because you have Jesus. The Bible says I'm for you. I'm more for you than a whole world against you. You're more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. If you have a problem, there's no problem too big for God that he can't fix. There's no problem that God can't deliver you from. There's no situation that God can't bring you out. There's no sickness that God can't heal you from. You just got to call on the name of Jesus. Walk in the light as he's in the light. Come out of darkness into the light. Come out of wickedness into righteousness. Get rid of that mind that's not like Christ. And call him and say, Lord, I need the helmet of salvation on me to keep my thoughts from the thoughts of Satan. I need his armor to keep me, to keep me in your righteousness, to keep me in your holiness, to keep me acting right, to keep me being right. In Jesus' name, he said, ask anything in his name that he would do it, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Anything you ask, call on Jesus. He's able to bring you out. He's able to deliver you from sin. He's able to turn you around, place your feet on the solid ground. But you gotta call on the name of Jesus, the name of Father. The king above every king, the Lord above every Lord, the rose of Sheridan, the king of peace, the great I am. In the name, the name of Jesus, say Jesus, I'm willing to come out of darkness into your light. I'm willing to turn, turn from unrighteousness, turn from sin. Give me those things which are not like Jesus because I call on the name that's above every name. That's the name, the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we got to learn to be not unequally yoked together with the unbelievers. Now, thank you for your time. Thank you for all the listeners. Now we're going to pray. We're going to dismiss. And Father, in Jesus' name, I pray, Lord, that the word, your preach word, has touched the viewers, touched even me, Lord, that we make a change, that we don't be unequally yoked with the unbelievers. I pray this in Jesus' name. You take care, and God bless.